Hello everyone, in this video I am going to show you how to integrate JavaScript in our ASPX pages. So whenever I want to write some scripting, some JavaScript, I need to write it in script tags. So I have a tag called as script tag. So I am going to write it in body tag. In body tag, I am going to write a script tag script type equals to javascript I'll say type equals to javascript now in this I can write my script whatever I want I can write it here so for example I want to print a message so I'll go for like in our C sharp we have console dot write line and in our ASP dot net we have response dot write in the same way here we have document dot write and I can write some text here and I need to end it with semicolon I'll save this and execute it so it is going to write hello there on my output window see that if I am writing hello there directly this is my static text if I switch to design mode you can see only this hello there and whatever I write in script tag that is my dynamic text so something is happening dynamically so this page becomes a dynamic page now this hello there is generated dynamically and this hello there is generated statically so I can write the complete script logic some programming logic in my script tag so this is simple display message now I'll go for performing some addition operation so I need two variables whenever I declare a variable in my C sharp I declare it as int double or string something so here in JavaScript I have a type called as var which implicitly converts the type if I say var a equals to 10 then automatically it will make a as integer and I'll write where b equals to 20 then I'll say where c equals to a plus b and here I'll just try to display the result c so same I'll use document dot write result is string concatenation I'll say plus C the same syntax we are using whatever we have used for our C sharp save this execute it the result is 30 so it is performing addition operation the same way I can go for basic programming control structures like I can write if cases if a is greater than b then I'll say document dot write a is greater So prior to this I'll just write a br tag so this is going to give me a new line it works like slash n in our C programming line. so whenever it encounters br it is a tag it is going to send me to the next line and 
else document dot write br p is greater. I'll execute this. It is going to display me B is greater. So simple if else I can write. I can also write else if ladder if I want. If I have A, B and C, I have three variables here. So I can write if A is greater than B and A is greater than C, then A is greater else if b is greater than a and b is greater than c then b is greater else c should be the greatest c is greatest actually we should go for greatest i'll save this execute it it should display C. C is greatest. So this is how I can go for if else and else if ladder. So in the same way I can also move for loops. I can go for this for loop. For i equals to zero, i less than or equals to ten i plus plus and here I am going to display the value of i document dot write value of i is plus i If you observe here, I haven't declared the variable i. So even if I do not declare, automatically it will take it as an integer. Value of i. Data types are identified implicitly depending upon the value whatever we are assigning to a variable. And one more interesting thing is that if I am assigning this variable a 10 so it is an integer if later on at some place if I assign a string to it and I say document dot write a so it is going to write McQueen we can say that it is not type safe so this feature depends upon the situation where we are using this feature can also be an advantage to us it can also be a disadvantage to us but the types are changed dynamically here depending upon the value we are assigning to a variable so in this way you can go for the complete programming logic if at all you want to perform at client side in scripting tag if you observe we are writing our script tag in body itself and this script gets executed whenever the page gets loaded so this kind of scripting is called as immediate scripting or I can call it as immediate scripting mode my JavaScript is immediate scripting mode because this script gets executed as soon as the page gets loaded but what I want, I want to perform some scripting task on some events. Say I have a button, so whenever I click the button, it should perform some task. So we will see that in our next video. Thank you very much.